It's Nick from that. Hi and thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Furg aka Phil and today I want to do a quick follow-up on the film simulation topic I did regarding the Nikon ZF since I got a lot of great comments from you and I also had finally some spare time to play around and dive deeper into this topic. I knew that Nikon has their own customization menu regarding color profiles which Cameron also used to set up some film simulations. I will link his video again up into this corner. And Nikon doesn't call that film simulations, but the term from them is creative picture control. You can see that quite quickly when you scroll down the color profiles in any Nikon camera. What I didn't know was that there is a small community already who share color profiles for Nikon cameras. And one of the bigger one is NikonPC.com. I will link that below in the description and also blend it here on the screen. And here you can see you have plenty of color profiles, which are basically film simulations for any Nikon camera. I saw that page several times already, but I wasn't sure if the profiles here are compatible with the Nikon ZF, since when I checked the list, the Nikon ZF and the Z8 weren't listed yet. After seeing your comments on my last video, I decided to give it a try and also contacted the guy from NikonPC.com and he confirmed that basically the compatibility list contains only cameras which users tested with these profiles. Since I confirmed him that the ZF works with these profiles, he added the ZF also on the list. And that's the topic for today. I want to share with you how to download and install these profiles on your SD card, then installing that on your Nikon ZF or any Nikon camera for the matter. And after installing the color profiles, how I set up my Nikon ZF to switch between the film simulations or color profiles. And in the end, I have my own conclusion why Nikon will probably never do film simulations in the future. Now let's jump into the NikonPC.com page first. And here we are, as I already mentioned, this is NikonPC.com, linked below in the description. And as you see here on the left side, there's a ton of color profiles, aka film simulations with different settings. And here, if you click on any of them, you see what kind of settings they have, how they impact the image here on the right. So you have basically on the uh, below the original picture and above a preview how the picture would look like with the color profile applied. Here you can also adjust the resolution if you want to check it bigger or smaller. Here also on the top you have different motifs, portraits, here also landscapes, cityscapes, macros, color palette, so a lot of samples you can play around to see how the color profiles would apply on the image. Here, as I already mentioned, that's the compatibility list. And now the guy had inserted the ZF now. And here you have the quick install guy which we can just quickly do together right now. If you have selected one of these profiles, let's just take Kodak Gold, for example. This is the film simulation or color, or the color profile. You can see how it's applied compared to the original. And here is the download button. So just hit download it will download onto your PC or Mac. And here, as following the instructions, just open up your, insert your SD card and open it. Then create a Nikon folder, which I already did here. Then in addition, after that, custom PC. This is also the one I already created. And then you just have to 
drop the file you just downloaded into this folder. And that's basically done on the part of the PC or Mac. Now you can just insert these, is this SD card and pop it into your Nikon ZF. On your Nikon ZF, just go into the menu and then click Manage Picture Control. Scroll down to Load and Save. And then it says Copy to Camera. Then you will see all the picture profiles you just downloaded from that web page with the according name. And if you hit OK, you can now select a custom slot for that on that picture profile. Here you can see I already put in four profiles. And after hitting OK, confirm it, you will have your color profile aka film simulation on your Nikon ZF. Now after having the film simulation aka color profile on your Nikon ZF, you can basically use it by switching into the color profile menu and select that film simulation. To enter this menu more conveniently, there's a way to customize a button. And here my thanks goes to Jack Lung. He basically took my idea from my last video regarding customizing a button to select the film simulation and confirm that that, that is basically working. So again, thanks to him. And let's dive into the menu again. Go into the menu and under custom control, that's F2. You can change now the, the video record button, which is by default not set up in stills mode. And here you can now set the set picture control on that button. Now, if you press the button, you can see that the set picture control menu will pop up. And now to select the picture profiles, you can just use your dial and select the profiles you just downloaded from NikonPC.com. This also works in the viewfinder and quite conveniently. The downside of these profiles for the Nikon system, some people mentioned that in my comments also, that you are not able to set the white balance into these profiles. Therefore, you need to customize an additional button just to select the white balance. In the white balance menu, there are six slots where you can also preset your white balance. And here you can save the white balance corresponding to each profile you have set up for the custom picture profiles. It's not ideal since you have to sacrifice another customized button for white balance but at least there's a workaround to get these film simulations, aka custom picture profiles working on the Nikon system, especially on the ZF, to complete the retro experience, I guess. Thank you very much again for your comments. I learned a lot with your input and I like to have somehow a conversation with you on this way. This is the current status I know regarding the Nikon Creative Custom Control and if you have something to add just comment below. Now after playing a little bit with these profiles I would say that right now these creative picture controls or color profiles come quite close to the film simulation on the Fuji Camp. Sure here and there there's a lack of customization and when I posted my last video about this topic regarding film simulation and Nikon ZF. Some of you also mentioned that brands like Ricoh and Olympus have much more customizations compared to Fujifilm and Nikon. Nevertheless, I still have the opinion that film simulations would do a great push regarding the Nikon ZF sales, specifically because of the retro design. But after thinking about this topic, I conclude that most of you who wrote that, that film simulations won't come to Nikon in general. But I have my own conclusion about this topic. Nowadays, I think every camera brand is currently thinking about their own brand regarding straight out of camera JPEG images. And that's because of Fujifilm. Fujifilm has basically linked and branded the term film simulations and that term is objectively just a synonym for straight out of camera JPEGs, but indirectly it's also linked to Fujifilm. And I think that's the reason why other brands don't want to call their JPEG settings film simulations. You can see that with the Leica Q3. Leica has implemented some straight out of camera JPEG options 
but here they also market it on their terms and they call it Leica Lux. That's the main reason why I agree that film simulations is a term, won't come to Nikon in general or the Nikon ZF, but I'm still an advocate that some kind of straight out of camera JPEGs with good marketing should come to the ZF to complete the retro vibe. And in my opinion, it could push the sales of the Nikon ZF. Because the term creative picture profile or control, I still can't remember that term. And that's the reason I barely mentioned it in this video, I think, correctly. It just sounds very clunky and very unsexy regarding marketing branding. And if Nikon want to attract some customers who are currently in the Fujifilm world, who have that term film simulations embedded in their mind, I think Nikon has to come up with a good branding or new name instead of that creative picture control term. Although objectively it's basically the same, setting up customizations for JPEGs. I still think that Nikon can implement more customizations via firmware update to make these customizations even more detailed. But the second part, which I think is uh, even more important, is the community behind it. If you look at Fujifilm, everyone knows how big that community is regarding the film simulations. And I think that's also one part why Fujifilm is so popular nowadays. The NikonPC.com page is a great starting point. But I guess we need more people who are aware about these profiles for Nikon and get them bored and aware that that is also possible on a Nikon camera. That's my quick additional rant on this topic. I hope you were able to learn something today and also if you are curious just play around with these profiles. Great starting point is NikonPC.com. If you want, donate to that guy. He does a great job with this webpage. Other than that, if you're still watching until this point, thank you very much for your time watching. You are the one who deserves the like. If you want to support my small little channel, just look at the description below. Buy me a coffee or check the affiliate links also below in the description. And if you want to see more videos of my channel, just click on one of these videos.